GT7 as well. It's fine, it's fine. We're going to carry that. We're going to carry it. Fantastic flaps. Oh. I'm getting so old. <laughs> Stop it, chat! Stop the march of time! Very well, we'll cure that with some caffeine because that's all I've got now. Anyway, hi guys! Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. Right now, as of recording this, it is early morning, as you can probably tell by the fact I look like I've been hit by a bus. But I thought there's no better way to wake up in the morning than with a little bit of Gran Turismo suffering my favorite thing. So let's talk about license tests in Gran Turismo because in the past they've been probably my biggest challenge as a degenerate streamer. I made it my goal quite early on to get every gold possible in Gran Turismo across every game. So when I booted up GT7 for the first time I was of course super excited to get involved and try the GT7. <laughs> try the GT7 license tests. Still lisp. <laughs> and honestly, I was a bit disappointed. I think that the golds in the license test were actually fairly easy to get. In fact, in some circumstances, in GT7, I was getting gold in my license test by over a second, which, uh, yeah, it was a bit disappointing. And as I got to my super license, I got to test S10. And then I cried for a bit. It almost feels like Yamauchi sound went, hey, you know what? Let's roll them all into a full sense of security and then smash them at the end with the hardest test possible. So if you guys are not familiar with the S10 license test yet, let me just paint you a picture. So first of all, we're at Spa. Full circuit, right? We all know Spa by now. Then the car we're using, the Porsche 917K. 600 horsepower of flat 12 goodness from the 70s. A car that would do towards 240 mile an hour if you give it a long enough road, with old school tires that don't really do anything. And you're thinking by now, okay, that, that could be quite difficult. And then you throw in wet conditions. Well, no, not even wet conditions, because that would be easier. You throw in in between conditions, which means you've got a nice dry line that you have to stick to. And if by God you go wide at any moment, you touch any part of that wet circuit, you're leaving the circuit backwards in an ambulance, unconscious. Then the ambulance within the wet patch as well do the same thing. The bigger ambulance will come to So what I'm going to do today is return to license S10 and try and get the best time possible. So I'm going to set myself a goal of getting into like the top 10 of my uh, my little personal leaderboard and then go from there. Just before the suffering starts, guys, if you do enjoy this video at any point and want to see more videos on GT7 and other sim-based titles, then feel free to tap that like button and the subscribe-ly. All right, let's get into it. So here we are, S10 license test. And this is a big one. One lap at Spa, and you can see, if I can get that back up again, the leaderboards are fairly intense round here. In fact, the quickest time is over three and a half seconds under the gold time. But if we go into the ranking boards, you see, you're seeing something. I'm uh, still not there. I'm still not there. I'm still not there. I'm there. I am 28th. Solid effort. <laughs> Actually behind Emery, Emily Jones. That can't stand. So my goal is to try and get into at least the top 10, which means I've got to do a time of a 2.24.3 or faster, which is an improvement of a, a fair chunk, like a second and a half on my best time so far around here, which is going to be difficult because, as I said, this test is a bit of a bugger. Right, let go. And I must warn you that you're probably going to see T1 a few times on uh, on this test, but let's see if we can get around in one piece first of all. So down at T1, T1 on the right there. Wait a minute, ABS is on. What loser has ABS on? But on the right, you can see how slippy it is. That, that shiny surface there, that's the wet surface. If we touch that, the car pretty much becomes undrivable. We're through the first bit, okay? Coming down to Urge and Radion. How much speed can we take in? Oh, no, not that much. Radion moment. <laughs> Come on, Christ. Yeah, I like doing these...
Uh, so I'm going to go back and turn ABS off here because I, li I like doing these properly. So yeah, when I first did this test, I basically spent the majority of my time missing T1. So you can take quite a lot of speed in. You've got to be really careful because that wet line is always threatening to just give you the big murder kill. Which uh, usually I'm into, but you have to pay something for that normally. Right. I think you can carry quite a bit of speed down. Oh my god. I think I have to carry a bit of speed down there. That's the thing. I've got to go fast down there. Go fast, consume us. Otherwise, my speed down the Campbell Strait is going to be so much slower. And given I've got a second and a bit to find. Oh, shitters. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Jimmy Does S10 T1 for four hours. Let's try breaking 100. Let's go for it. Because we've got no ABS either, I'm being nice and careful on that. Brake pedal. Don't hit the curb. So I just touch the curb there, and this game does that super well. When you touch the curbs, it's just spin. So, easy on the way down. Remember, we're in a car from the 70s. Easy. Easy. E okay, easy. See, smooth inputs. <laughs> smooth inputs is definitely the, uh, the way to go. So, water on the right there. Let me get water coming in from the left, so we have to break sort of half central. Please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop! Hey, what? I didn't hit anyone. Oh man, this car's awesome though. I love the 917k. You imagine being back in the 70s doing like 240 mile out on a Molsan. The size of your testicles. I actually need them right now, but to fucking weigh me down. <laughs> I'm so bad now, even fucking Takuma's coming, being like, hmm. Maybe you should watch how to do this shit <laughs> before you go wreck a 917k again. I want to carry this speed. This car does have some downfall, so I want to carry it down here. I say some, not much. It's still a bit of a bullet. That's better. Straight line. Yeah. Now, usually I wouldn't go over the curb there, but the fact that we're already sort of the car's already going in kind of a straight line means we can do that. If I was turning, it would be a bit different. Slow the bastard down. That was a bit earlier to slow down there, but it doesn't matter. Carry the speed, Jimmy. Let's avoid. Curb. Oh my god. That was close. Now, right, first time down to Rivage. I'm trying to run the speed through, but I'm also quite wary of just touching anything that is sketch, like that. Oh! No! God damn it, man. Problem is, we have 600 horsepower, right? 600 horsepower go into those fat old rear tyres, and as soon as they go, mm, water, you just, that's the end. Pretty really fucking Valerio goes on like a 22 round here. For those who don't know, by the way, Valerio Gallo um, is basically the fastest guy in GT Sport. Wait, in Gran Turismo right now. And apparently in GT, uh, in GT7 as well. It's fine, it's fine, we're going to carry that, we're going to carry it. Bring it in the middle of a the circuit there. Just, it's just safe there, it was, I felt safe going down the middle of a circuit, alright? Don't judge me. Okay, that was nice. Early in the brakes there. Always a bit early when the brakes down, down to Rivage, because it is downhill as well. I got into the wet stuff there, that's going to cost me time. Let's try not to send it into the fucking wall this time, though. Now, who on? First time getting here, finally. And this is tricky, because right on the outside, if you just touch that wet stuff on the outside, you are looping. Oh my god, just like that. Oh no! Oh, god damn it! The thing is, right, even in the dry, this car's oversteery. So, and at that point in the corner, if you've got oversteer, you just have to open the corner up. You have to go wider. And you can't afford to do that there. That runoff that we sort of like to abuse in online races. Where are you going, Jimmy? Yeah, that runoff is just lethal. You can't touch it. So as soon as I had that moment, it was just dead. This is why... This is why this test is so difficult. Okay, good. Doesn't feel fast, but we're getting through it. 
Come on, Jimmy, for the love of fuck, just get round, just get round. I did it, I did it, move around, okay. No, 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 I was round! <laughs> Uh, yeah, fine. Let's, let's just go straight there, Jimmy. <laughs> Good idea. The thing is, I'm so I'm so used to streaming this shit that I'm imagining the back seating already. Oh, Jimmy, uh, you should be uh, breaking with your uh, wait. No, sorry, you should be using your left foot on the throttle and your right foot on the brake. And what we like to call the crisscross formation. It means you can use your ankles to actually. Uh, Drive the car rather than the, uh, the toes you tend to use. A nice, really to Actually, if you wouldn't mind, show me your toes. That is chat in a nutshell. Back seating or requesting toes. Oh, come on! It's good to have a good knob wiggle, you know. Get frustrated, chat. Uh, sorry. Oh my god. Stop trying to kill us! Should be in fur around there really, but I survived so I don't, I don't care. Quite easy. Just tip her in, tip her in. Nicely. Don't touch the feckin' curbs, Jimmy! Okay, I made it. It wasn't fast, but I made it into the corner. God. I've gone tense. I've gone all tense. I just want to survive. Okay, now I know I have to sort of slow down a bit for these lefts. Oh my god. Tense so hard, I'm fairly sure that I'm now immovable from this seat. I'm clamped, come on. Right, looking for about a second under that time. Uh... So basically, we're at the same point now than when we started. So I think I need to be a bit more aggressive now that I know sort of where thing is. If I can just be aggressive and gain that time, that's that's all it is. Just go faster, just wheel harder, just... Touch. It's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. No. Okay, cool, right. If I could be braver through here... Look at, look at the mini-map, look at that gap! That's my ghost. Too brave. I just shat myself. Nice, that was a good good carrying a speed into the chicane there. This is gonna be a lot quicker. It is a 24-7, where does that put me? That's a good time. Finally, actually doing a good time. Oh, I'm not in the top 10, damn it, where am I? That puts me 14th. Okay, so we have three attempts to find. Possible, a couple of moments where I just did the big sad there, but Definitely more time to find. I, I, I want to, I want to do good. But how the hell is? Now I'm starting to get a bit more confident. This is where I foresee more accidents happening. Now I know out of pit path we lost a little bit of time. Fancy K. I was a bit slow left through there. That's where like I need to really focus. I think. Oh my god! Just that little nibble of the curb there's enough to have a moment for about 45 minutes down the straight. I love it. Okay, nice. But I've got to focus on having a massive moment now at the top here. Ooh! He's dancing! Oh no. <laughs> I was losing that for like 45 minutes! <laughs> that was so fast as well! Shitters. 
There's a really good lap in there somewhere. Really, I think there's a really nice lap in here somewhere. It's getting serious now. We're in try-hard mode now. I just need to go left, fuck it. My name is Jimmy, and I've not learned what I'm meant to do at that corner. Come on, I've got, look how much time I've got on myself there, come on. What happened to Easy Jimmy? No! Get off there, Jimmy! Oh! I don't want to touch the curbs, but they're so inviting! <laughs> no touchy! I'm stuck on the fucking curb, damn it! <laughs> Shut up! News, I don't know, my, my trouble's everywhere, mate. Everywhere is my trouble. I I've got to try hard hours, because now I'm not talking anymore. I'm just complaining. The simulation. But all I've got to do is put a lap together, but my fucking monkey brain is unable to comprehend the things I've done last time. It's a 23 1. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. Easy. Where did that put me? Oh, it puts me fourth. It puts me fourth, man. Oh, shitters. You know, I'm going to regret this, but I think I can go a bit faster than I did there. We'll see, though. A nice start. Right.
Place me free, what is that? <laughs> Get wrecked, everyone! Oh, I did it! I did it! Ladies and gentlemen, faster than Valerio Gallo. Faster than this Eric GTR guy that keeps kicking my ass. Oh, there you go. The so guys, not only have we got through the toughest license test in Gran Turismo 7, but we are the top of the friends ranking, which means that I have the biggest e penis. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm so happy of that. I'm so happy of that. You know what? I'm, I, I'm so confident that I'm calling out Super GT. Steve, mate, I don't see you anywhere on this leaderboard, especially not in the uh, top 10 like real chads. See if you can beat me, mate. Bet you can't. Oh, man. Yeah, super happy of that. Top of the friends board and decimating. Absolutely ruining Olympic champion and Nations Cup champion Valerio Gallo. Get wrecked, Valerio. But guys, that was a ton of fun. Uh, as, as you can see, I got a bit try hardy towards the end there, but I really actually enjoy uh, sweating out these challenges. It's uh, really fun to try and bet yourself and try and find the right lines in here. And it took a little bit of alternate thinking to go fast here to what I would usually do. So it was, um, yeah, a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that YouTube bullshit. And make sure Steve knows that I'm the king. Take care. Have an awesome day. See you all next time. Bye.